Welcome to Zarin Tech on this video on data types, structured, concepts in Snowflake. I'll be walking you through the key concepts related to structured data types in Snowflake. Before we dive in, let's go over a few disclaimers. The examples, images, and references in this video are provided for informational purposes only. Please comply with all applicable copyright laws when using this content. Without limiting rights under copyright, no part of this document may be reproduced, stored, or transmitted without permission. Credits should be given for any images taken from open sources. We'll start by covering the importance of data types in Snowflake certification exams like Snow Pro. Then we'll look at the Snow Pro syllabus topics related to data types. After that, we'll go through key notes, a cheat sheet, and fundamental concepts for data types in Snowflake. We'll wrap up with some sample exam questions and links to Snowflake documentation for further learning. Snowflake supports most basic SQL data types with some restrictions for use in columns, local variables, expressions, parameters, and other areas. In this presentation we'll focus specifically on the structured data types Snowflake supports. Understanding data types is critical for Snow Pro certification and using Snowflake effectively. The data type informs Snowflake how much storage to allocate for a column and the form the data must take. Picking appropriate data types allows proper allocation of resources and ensures efficient query processing and storage. The Snow Pro syllabus covers data types in the context of loading and unloading data, copy, file formats, pipes, and general usage. Key areas include numeric, decimal, integer, float, real, and double data types. As mentioned, the data type tells Snowflake the storage and format for data in columns, variables, parameters, etc. using the optimal data type for the data results in proper storage size, processing, and handling of the values. Here are some key notes on Snowflake data types we'll cover related to fixed and floating point numbers, numeric constants, and related details. This cheat sheet summarizes the structured data types in Snowflake including usage details and restrictions. Feel free to take a screenshot or reference the Snowflake documentation for more details. Snowflake supports number, decimal, numeric for fixed point numbers up to 38 precision. int, integer, big int, small int, tiny int, and byte int for different sizes of integer values, float, float 4, float 8 for single precision floats, and double, double precision, real for double precision floating point numbers. Each has specific ranges, storage sizes, and usage scenarios. Let's look at some sample exam questions to reinforce these data type concepts. Here are links to Snowflake documentation on data types for further reference and learning. The intro summary provides a great overview of all Snowflake data types in one place. In summary, understanding structured data types in Snowflake is key for certification and proper usage. Focus on numeric, decimal, integer, float, real, and double data types, their details, restrictions, and use cases. Proper data types are critical for performance and storage optimization. That covers the detailed talking points for each slide in this data types in Snowflake presentation. Let me know if you need anything else. Thank you for your time. Please subscribe to our channel to get more informative videos.